He was a beacon of light in a time of darkness, and after more than 50 years, his life and legacy still lives on. The Northwest Arkansas Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Council has made it its mission to spread Dr. King's message of unity and equality for all. We have Angela Mosley Mons, the president of the council, and Dr. Danielle Williams with us this morning. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Let's talk about the MLK celebrations coming up in Northwest Arkansas. What do you have planned? We have a lot of activities planned. First of all, we will get started on Saturday mm -hmm. with the um, Martin Luther King, uh, our Alphas, uh, the members of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. And so uh, we will have an opportunity to do a community service project with them. And that project will occur at the Boys and Girls Club. Mm -hmm. And then on Sunday, we will also have a vigil with the men of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated okay. at St. James Missionary Baptist Church. And then we will have a recommitment banquet on Monday, January the 21st. So it is our 23rd banquet. Mm -hmm. We will be honoring five amazing individuals who are living the dream of Dr. King and we will give out 17 scholarships. I was going to ask you about this recommitment banquet. Um, tell me a little bit about what people can expect to do and see maybe at this banquet. There, as um, Angela said, there's going to be a lot of things going on. Of course, we're going to have an amazing speaker mm -hmm. who is one of our dream keepers president, which is one of our, as our student group, uh, William Trey Smith. Uh, and then we'll also, as Angela said, give out some scholarships to some, to some deserving students. And then we'll have some singing and we'll have some performing. Uh, St. James Liturgical Dance will be performing as Neat. well as Christian Life Cathedral Choir will also be performing. So we'll have a variety of things going on at the banquet. But again, it's just around the ideas and philosophies of Dr. King about unity, community, and diversity. A lot of events and activities like yes. you ladies mentioned in the yes. coming days. If people at home want to get involved in these activities and these events, how can they go about doing so? Well, there's a few things they can do. Of course, just attend. We ask <laughs> that they look at uh, the schedule of events and attend. But if they actively want to volunteer, uh, we've actually set up this year Give Pulse on our website. So if they want to go and actually do a little bit of work for us and help us out, um, they can sign up on our website. And we appreciate one of our uh, council members, mm -hmm. Clifton Harris, setting that up through for us. Uh, for the website, but again, if anybody wants to help, that's the best way. Look at our schedule, attend the events. All of them are free except for the banquet, of course. Okay. Uh, if you want to, we still have some tickets left, don't we, President yes, Mott? Yes, we do. About 45 tickets, so okay. they're going quickly. So I would assume so. It's a great event. Yeah, we're looking to have, or we're projecting, maybe close to 600 people to attend. Okay. So. Well, ladies, thank you so much for joining us this morning. If you are interested in any of these activities or events, we will have a list of them on our website later this morning. That's nwahomepage.com.